Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Thinkific and in today's video of our online course series, we'll teach you easy DIY video recording studio setup to help you create high quality videos from home without breaking the bank. Welcome back to our channel and the online course series where we show you how to launch your online empire. If you haven't done so already, hit that bell button below so you don't miss out on any of the great content coming your way. There are basically three different video recording setups we see people use. You have talking head, full body, top down, walk and talk, and the list goes on. But the one you choose will depend on the type of class you're teaching. For the sake of this video, however, we'll just cover talking head setup as it's the most commonly used among course creators. If you wanna learn the other setups, let us know in the comments below and maybe I can convince our videographer to do it. In this type of video setup, you're only visible from the waist up, usually sitting behind a desk. This is perfect for instructors who don't need to demonstrate any movements that might require your whole body to be visible in the frame. So let's break this down. Choose a space where you have enough room between your camera and lights, you and the background. It doesn't have to be big, but a minimum of six feet between all three points should work best to help you create depth. Number two, your background. Avoid shooting your video against a plain white background. It's boring, flat, and it'll be difficult to expose properly because your white background will be much brighter than you when you light it. See the difference in depth between these two shots? Having a room as the background works better than just having a solid white color. Number three, camera and audio. You can use any DSLR camera to shoot your course. There are so many different kinds to choose from, but make sure your camera has a flip screen function so you can see yourself while you film. Otherwise, you might have to invest in a separate monitor. The worst thing would be to get to the very end of your film and discover your footage is all out of focus. If you're new to all this, the best approach is to set all of your camera functions on auto, especially if you're shooting indoors in a controlled environment. Don't have a DSLR? Why not just use this? Most smartphones can record full 4K quality and you can just use the screen as your monitor. For audio, there's a few options. A shotgun mic captures clean audio in the direction it points to, while a snow globe mic captures audio in a wider range. This is especially useful if you're doing a two-person setup, but you can also use it for a talking head video if you're close enough to the mic. There are some really good shotgun microphones that can be attached to your smartphone. Number four, lighting. Now let's go over your lighting setup. We'll do two scenarios. One scenario will be where you're lighting the setup without any natural light, and the one where we use natural light as the main source. Don't worry, we'll use cheap alternatives. In this scenario, I'm only using two lights. The main light, which is the key light, is filling my face with nice soft lighting. These are just LED bulbs with some sort of diffusion attached, like a white umbrella. You can buy these types of lighting on Amazon for dirt cheap. The diffusion will help create a larger area of light so you don't have to spend more money on lights. Position this light slightly off to the side. That way it'll give your face definition as it wraps around your face and creates nice shadows. The next light I'm going to use is a handy lamp light. I'm just going to use any household lamp. This will create a lot of depth in your shot and make the background separate from you, the subject. See the difference? A slight variation to this setup is something called the ring light, also called a beauty light. I love this light because it is so much with so little. It's a little circular light that you can place directly in front of you and the camera shoots through it. It will light your face beautifully, but also give your eyes that wonderful pop. Now let's jump into scenario two. Let's say you don't have any budget to purchase new lights and can only use the sun and household lights. In this scenario, position your setup so the sunlight from the window comes from the side. It may look a little bit harsh with direct sunlight and because the sun changes direction, the lighting will change quite a bit if you film it. One neat DIY trick is to use a simple white bed sheet. Hang this over the window or wherever your sun is coming in from and voila, much better, right? Depending on how harsh your sun is, you can use a thicker or thinner material to bounce the light. And those are some easy ways to do a DIY home video setup for your online course. Now, there are a few more different setups we can go over in a later video, so do let us know in the comments if you want us to make a future video on other lighting setups. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tips coming your way. Leave us a comment down below if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.